Hey, welcome to today's video. I hope you are well. We're going to talk today about Prime XBT and why I am using it. I'm going to show you how to use it if you've never used it before. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to learn more about cryptocurrency, hit that subscribe button and obviously press that bell. So stick around. Let's talk about how to make some Bitcoin via trading other assets in the world. Let's go. Right, so welcome to today's video. Now, we're going to be doing a little bit of an educational sort of piece where I'm going to show you how Prime XBT really works. I did an introduction a couple of weeks back. A lot of people messaged me on Telegram and even on my Facebook group how to use it in a bit more detail and why I'm ultimately using it instead of other traditional platforms. And I want to address that straight away. It's easy because I can literally sign up within 40 seconds, no KYC, and put a little, little bit of Bitcoin in that and trade it to make more Bitcoin. That's kind of the game I like to play now. I've set my chart up here. I'm going to go through like all the little bits and gizmos. And I've only got a little bit of money in because I like to build accounts. If you're seeing people, a lot of people say that, oh, leverage trading is really tr uh, risky, you know, in terms of oh, you lose all your money. Most people who lose their money don't know how to trade on leverage platforms. And they also don't understand risk management. Risk management is absolutely key. Positional sizes are absolutely key. And if you're putting thousand dollars on these and you're looking to trade a thousand dollars on a on a move because you've got a 500x leverage on it, well, you're an idiot. So let's talk about it. Growing your account is absolutely pivotal from a very very low amount to a high amount. That's how all traders get to where they are. They don't just become amazing by putting a couple of thousand dollars into an account and it turns into three hundred thousand in a week. It doesn't happen like that. It takes time. And this is a perfect platform to practice on because the, the amounts you can use are very, very small, which is absolutely brilliant. So, set it up. It's really, really easy to sign up. 40 seconds, give or take, to take. You put a little bit of Bitcoin in, and that takes about 20 to 30 minutes on my withdrawal because at the time, Bitcoin was pretty fast. It was good. Uh, it'll probably be a bit slower to, today or whatever time. Especially after a big dump. Remember, a couple of days back we dumped massively, so there'll be a bit of a delay. However, I've set mine up, so if you go up to here, you've got widgets. Your chart will probably look different if you just signed up. I like to use a dashboard on the right hand side, which is that bit, and the position and stuff. I don't really care for anything else, I'll be honest with you. I could put a watch list on there, but if I wanted to do that, if I just, oh god, I've just clicked on that way too many times. I've got one there, right, one there, cool. So, Essentially, you can have a watch list as well. You don't have to have a watch list, but you know, it looks all right. Looks nice and tidy. I personally don't use this. I'm going to explain why. It's not the greatest. Sorry, Prime XBT, but this is rubbish. Um, but you don't really need it. Most people who use, you know, stuff like that, it doesn't really matter. If I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Because other data systems are better, other indicator systems are better. This is all you need. You need, obviously, your balance and your trading orders. Now, it is really, really simple. Now, on my other screen here, I have this. Okay, I have TradingView. Hi, TradingView is awesome. This is kind of how I trade. I only scalp on Prime XBT. I don't do anything else. I do not hold bigger positions because... Leverage platform is not really designed to hold big swing positions or anything like that. So I scalp and I like to use gold and we're currently in the BTC chart. So we're going to go to X, XAU, which is spot gold USD. You can get any of these relatively quickly on whatever chart you want. You know, you can use whatever I'm using Oanda as a, as a data and it's pretty much bang on with the money. Now, in terms of how it is, it's simple. Your orders are here. I've obviously put in silver, uh, silver there, sorry, gold here, um, pound to the US, and euro to the US. I probably never ever use these. I don't really do Forex, to be honest with you. But if you are in the space and you want to do more stuff, you've got oil, you got um, the gas, you've got German 500, uh, 300, sorry, the SP 500, NASDAQ, the, the FTSE, you can trade these on this platform using Bitcoin straight away. Now, the reason why I'm suggesting try it with this is because if you're going to open up an eToro account or an IG account or whatever, 
You've got to put quite a bit of money into them to get going, especially eToro is like 500 euros to start. It's crazy. And it's CFD, it's different. The leverage on this is pretty awesome. On, I'm pretty sure on gold and silver, it's 500, so a 1 to 500 ratio. Basically, $1 would be 500. And um, with cryptocurrency, it's up to 100. And some of the Forex pairs, not sure which ones, are 1,000. So it's pretty crazy. It's pretty cool. Now, I'm currently looking at all these kind of gizmos. This is obviously the chart. If you're going to use a chart, you need to use this little wizard button here. And you can put your moving averages on there. They're the moving averages at the minute. You can see them there, nice, neat and tidy. It's not a bad chart, but you'll see why I don't like it. Because it's not the greatest in terms of fundamental use. Especially when you start putting more indicators on there. There's, you know, certain things. And if you go into the settings, you can also show volume, which kind of gets in your way. You've also got the grid. So, you know, for me, you've got to really play around with it all. And, you know, that's just kind of how I, you know how I envisioned sort of things, but that's why I prefer using TradingView on my other screen. So I've got the data there, I can see it a bit more clear, and I can just use this for the audible. Kind of like how you use MetaTrader, you know, you're just plonking an order and off you go. Really, really simple. Now, I'm looking at the chart and I wanna try and execute a trade here just to show you how easy it is. I only use market orders on scalping because you gotta get in, simple as that. Yes, there's more fees, yes, there's other things. And if you wanna get onto your fees, Go to your account here and actually go onto this bit here and go to chat. You've got a live chat and you've also got help center and tutorials. So tutorials are good and obviously help center. If you go to help center, you get all the bump. All of it is a load of decent stuff here and it tells you all about the fees, all the security measures obviously as well and how the leverage and the margin kind of work. So just get involved and have a little look. Obviously overnight fees as well. I do not hold for long because the fees overnight get quite expensive but you shouldn't be doing that on trading platforms so as it stands it's simple easy to use you've got other buy orders here but personally i use these this is here obviously the order size how many order size elements that you want lots essentially and all of this here is just other different elements that you can kind of use you can get across there if you so wish to and you can get all the information here the different types of candles you can have lines bars all kinds of good stuff but you're very, very limited, and I'm, I'm, I may, you know, I'll be honest. You're very, very, very limited on ter in terms of what you have, okay, which is the biggest drawback. But you know, it doesn't ma matter if you've got trading view on the other screen. Other indicators, you can add whatever the hell you want on here, pretty much, okay. There's not a lot, but there's some here. So if I was you, you know, depending on what you use. Now you've got a few different ones now. MACD, where is it? There it is. You can add the MACD. There you go. And it appears at the bottom. Cool. You know, it's really, really straightforward to use. And to get rid of it, you just go onto it, you click on it, and you exit. Simple as that. Now, I'm looking at entering a short very, very soon. Now, this is just a test. This is no kind of bearing on other things, but we're looking quite good for a short right now just due to the fact that it's below the moving average 200 on the one minute time frame it's looking quite good and it's kind of rejected that area so in terms of putting an order in you just go to the sell order i'm going to put one in a tiny tiny amount and you just put an execution of, of, of an order and in terms of stop losses set them at the start it's always the best way of doing it and you want to try and make sure that you have a little bit of wiggle room you know I'm not quite perfect on this, but this is just literally to test, by the way, guys, just to let you know. So this is a very, very quick test. That's how you do an order. We're in. Happy days. I've got to take profit on that somewhere. But I've, I've also got a stop loss. You can see the stop loss there. The stop loss is up here. Take orders down here. Whether we get there or not, who knows? But that's how easy it is to do an order. It's so simple. It's ridiculous. You don't have to worry too much about it. Now, all it is, you're in that platform now. Cool. That's going on there. You can keep an eye on your chat on that screen or whatever screen that you're using and win a winner chicken dinner. And whether it wins or not, who knows? But this is just a literal test trade just to see. I will be doing more trades on this. Obviously, I'm risking $3. whoop de doo Doesn't matter, but that is the fundamental element. If you're not used to using a platform, you've got to use small amounts. Simple as that. If you're not used to trading certain assets, use small amounts. 
always, always do that. Always allowed to do that. Got to build. So we'll see what happens. You know, it's looking okay at the minute. Who knows? We shall see. If it wins, it wins. Happy days. But, you know, I'm not resting my little hat on this one. But at the end of the day, you know, it's a very, 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 very small trade. And the fundamentals are key. If you learn how to use a platform with a small amount and you can grow it, just keep growing it. You don't have to change it. There we go. There's a win for you. But, you know, I just made literally a dollar there. <laughs> not to brag or anything, but, you know, scalp trading, you've just got to kind of go with what you what you got in front of you, really. The one minute time frame, guys. It's the only time frame, realistically, you can see the future in, you know, what's happening right in front of you. And it did it drop quite a bit, considering that wherever my take profit was, could have held a little bit longer, got a little bit more. But, again, I'm only risking $3, and I'm not really that worried about it, because I'm still... Overall, just building an account up. That's simple as that. Building an account up with Bitcoin without worrying too much about putting loads of money in. It's a fundamental key. So that's the basics of, you know, literally that. And other things to mention is obviously the leverage and how it all works and stuff. And this is absolutely pivotal. If you saw on my trade, I had $3 risk in terms of use margin. I had a lot in here. You have to have a lot in that available balance because it will start eating away at other positions that you're in. And also your position size is absolutely key, fundamentally key. You've heard of the rule only risk 3%. It's literally is that. And I've not got enough in my account to really kind of give it a good go. I will be putting more money in here when I get comfortable with the surroundings of gold. I'm a crypto trader. I scalp gold. Gold moves totally different to, to cryptocurrency so that's why I'm starting off low ultimately though this here I'm only using it for the order button so I don't have to get used to too much of the platform it's literally sell order put it as a market put a stop loss in there get a take profit simple as that same for the buy order you know just people way around it's simple again if you want to do a buy order it's really really straightforward and I wish I kept that on because that's doing okay now but you know it's just one of those things that happens all the time and there's always movement there's always opportunities in this market, don't worry about it. There'll be another one. I'll always win, you know. But for me, learn about leverage trading. But to start with, baby amount. If you can trade profit in, in, if you're a profitable trader on any other platform, like Binance or Bitrex or Bitfinex, etc., doesn't matter how good you are as a trader. If you can take that over and put risk management on that and use leverage. You're going to evolve more as a trader because it's a different mindset. It's a different game. That's kind of why this platform is really good to start off with because you can get forced to use positional sizes. If you're using the likes of BitMEX, Bitrex, uh, Bit, BitMEX, sorry, you've got a little sliding bar that dictates what leverage you can use if you want to. People get a bit too carried away and they go, 100x, boom, I'll only risk a little bit, but the uh, no, you lose. So... This here is absolutely brilliant. So always have this as high as you possibly can. You want to have a lot of equity in your account. If you have a lot of equity, you win. And that trade there, absolutely perfect. Called that perfectly. Below the certain elements, it rejected the resistance. I'll show you it actually, just to kind of give you an insight of what I always look for when I trade. So moving average, 34. I always look for support bounces, <whistles> boom, resistance rejections, that's it, simple as that. And that is basically my trigger line. So if you look at this region here, we're above it, it shows momentum. You go with the direction momentum. If it looks strong, you go for it, okay? It comes down. You don't just short, you wait for something to tell you that it's going to come down heavily. The candles tell you it's going to come down heavily anyway, it's just the way they are. But I wouldn't even chance that. But what I would chance is something what bounces off it. So when you look at the bounces and the, and the rejections, rejections are pretty cool, but also spot bounces. So here, right, you've got a trend. I know I'm going a bit off tangent here. This is a trend. Bounce, bounce, bounce. These are your longs, okay? You've also got your rejections here. Rejections here, like the rejection off it, they keep going down. There's a rejection there, small move. Rejection there, small move. These little baby moves, you always catch them. And like I say, there's always opportunities in these markets, and that's pretty much how I trade. You rub it, rejection, um, support bounce, off you go. It comes down, little rejection there. Bounce, comes down, 
up. You know, all of these are resistances at some point, but this here, this line's my trigger line. This is a really good one. Look at that rejection, off it goes. Boom. You know, they work well. And the reason why I went on this one is because it came down, it went up, it rejected here. Showed a bit of a, a neutral, a rejection candle there because the, the, the bulls literally gave up and the bears brought it down. Off it went and then, you know, that, that was the move. So, there you go. Enjoy. Sign up to the link below. It's really, really good. I like this platform a lot. It's a great little builder platform. Get involved in it and obviously risk baby amounts. If you've got $10 worth of Bitcoin, give it a go. Be mindful though, if you're using $10 and you're using the small amounts, you're going to be quite high on leverage. But if you are, you, you know, if you've got $50 to burn and you're going to risk one lot, which would be literally $3, go for it. It's definitely worth practicing. But before all of that, get used to the platform, set it up nicely, and most importantly, paper trade before you get going.